Hey guys, Daddy Peanut 3D here with another video from the Flashback Entertainment Library. Uh, I think it's been a couple weeks since I did a video. Uh, we just moved into our house, so everything's kind of just been on hold until we get all that done. It's you know, a lot going on with uh, one of my kids, as I'm sure a lot of you know. Uh, the youngest one is autistic, and she just started her intensive treatment so we've been kind of getting all that going which is going awesome uh, in case you're wondering how it's going it is going great she's i mean it's weird to say it but after even a couple weeks she's improving already which is just amazing to me but i guess it's what it's supposed to do but anyway we're here this week with as you can see super mario brothers 5 reborn which is uh as you can also see created in 2011 by gamma v uh, ported to a cart by us. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody else really has this game. I won't make that mistake of saying it's never before seen, but uh, I played this for quite a while today. I played for a good probably four hours. Uh, maybe not that long. Two hours. Something like that. But, you know, got got decently into the game, and this game is awesome. If you, if you like Super Mario World, this is, this is the, you know, the next best thing. This is Super Mario World 2, if there was such a thing. I know there's Yoshi's Island, but this just feels so polished. And uh, I'll start from the beginning here. I was streaming it today for quite a while. Bowser seems to have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom. Isn't that the normal story? <laughs> Our, our new friend. Uh, you can see sprites are a little bit different. The visuals are definitely different. You know, as far as all the levels, there, there isn't really any. I mean, there's a lot of reused imagery, but nothing that's like in the same location or anything like that. You know, you got star coins instead of Yoshi coins, that kind of stuff like that. Uh, also, the wall jump. Just in case. See the wall kick. A little bit of an added bonus. Does have Yoshi in it, so that's always good. But I, this is something that um, I'll have to to check real quick if this is in the story yet. I know. I mean, I guess to address that issue right away for anybody that's watching this, if you've been going to the website, uh, we have been having few issues here and there, uh, mainly with just hosting support and things like that, and the latest one was uh, just a checkout error, which it was making it difficult for people to purchase games, and we obviously don't want that, that's, you know, what we do, so. I think, as far as I can tell, most of that stuff has worked out, uh, the site is coming back up slowly, you can definitely go check it out, and as you know, shopflashback.com, that's where we're at. And I think we should be able to squeeze in pretty much the whole first world. Now, oh, can you guys hear that? My other favorite part of the game. Uh, I can't remember if it's in the first world, but... They have taken music from... I think a lot of other Mario games and kind of used it in this one. Oh, Yoshi! We're good. We're good. Wee wee. Yoshi's the bomb. I mean, he's got big boots on. He can just jump off whatever he wants. The epitome of not caring about it at all. Ooh. Let's see. What else? Yeah, sorry. Just kind of... Long day today, just trying to think of what I want to talk about. Um, 
it's been a few weeks since uh, Ancient Stone Tablets got released. Uh, anybody pick it up? You know, what do you think? I mean, I haven't played it yet, to be honest, which... I'll get around to it. It's, it's on the list. We have a fairly large backlog of games that need to be... videos made and reviewed and tested and all kinds of things like that. Um, granted, anything you see that gets to me is generally fully tested already and pretty much ready to go. You know, save for possible glitches here and there that, you know, can always be worked out. Oh, no. No. Oh. Oh. It's fine. He's already back in the act. No worries. <laughs> well, the other big news, I guess, you know, just to get right into that, is, uh... Ancient Stone Tablets Master Quest complete in box version with manual map insert cardboard you know box or, you know it looks looks like a brand new Super Nintendo game I guess the easiest way to say it it will be here soon I don't have an exact date for you guys yet but you know it is something to to get in on you know if you are interested in it make sure you message me at my page oh man at my page. My Facebook page and we'll see if we can maybe get some kind of pre-order list or something going on that because it's gonna it's gonna sell quick we're only gonna have 10 per run but not that we're limiting it in any way it's just that's just how many we can make and they generally sell pretty quick so make sure you get on the ground floor of that because that's not something you're gonna want to have to get later because unfortunately I, I've seen a a couple of the copies on eBay, which, no big, you know, a lot of people like to play through these games and, and resell them just like the regular ones, no big deal there, but uh, anybody that's been to our website knows Ancient Stone Tablets is a $100 game. It's been selling on eBay for upwards of three to $400, so do yourself a favor and get it from us, that way it's guaranteed, you, you know, not that we have a word for word warranty but you know if you have issues with one of our games we're gonna take care of you that's something that we stand by there's a lot of other companies out there and this isn't necessarily taking shots at them because I, I I personally know quite a few of them you know from Facebook and the video game groups I'm in but you know there, there's a lot of places that have cheaper games and you know that kind of thing like that well there, there's there's always a reason for that just remember you know, you don't, you don't usually get what you pay for in this type of thing. Now, there's a lot of time and effort that goes into these, and that's why we do have some games that you won't see anywhere else because there's certain ones that need to be fixed or are too difficult to to port over. You know, Ancient Stone Tablets is a very good example. That's a very difficult game to get on a cart to work correctly. But when it does, I mean, you really have something special, something that, you know, you're never going to find anywhere else. I think the other example I'm thinking of is uh, one of my very first videos for Flashback, uh, Shin Zelda Densetsu. That game is an awesome game. Basically, original Legend of Zelda, but you play as Zelda. And that game was forgotten about for a while because it was inherently broken. You couldn't beat like the third dungeon in the game so you can never complete the game well we actually fixed that so it is uh, fully playable and beatable and you know that's that's the point right as far as the gaming side of things i kind of see this this industry going towards a really big collecting standpoint too because i mean these are i mean this isn't this isn't joe blow's game that he made on his you know ti-83 or something like that i mean this is a you can see this. This is highly polished. This isn't reusing everything in a game and just kind of moving stuff around. I mean, granted, there are some of those, and those aren't bad either, but games like this, they're they're not a dime a dozen. I mean, this is somebody's hard hard work put into a game, and it's it's well worth it. Where are we at here? We're going to beat the castle. Yep, okay. So here's the first castle. I think I, yeah, I did. I missed the Switch Palace, but I don't want to give away any secrets. <laughs> oh, look at that, right there. 
back to there. Let's see, anything else I can think of off the top of my head that needs to be brought up? Um, not a whole lot, I guess. Uh, I'm still speed running. Got a lot of that going on. I'm moving up in the Super Metroid world. You can check out my Twitch there. And there's there's highlights of all my recent personal best runs and the like on there. And uh, really awesome community of people. Just it just seems like the gaming world in general is just a really cool place to be. I know we all have our bad reputation as the we live in our mom's basements and we're a bunch of nerds and. Sometimes that's true, but... Oh my god. That's pretty bad. <laughs> We're gonna beat the first castle. I know I can do it. I've done it today. And I will do it again. Oh! Well, while, we're, while I keep dying, I'll bring up uh, Gamer Geek Nation. They are, they are pushing ahead, man. They are growing by leaps and bounds. Uh, they just recently eclipsed, I think, 30, 34,000 likes on Facebook, which is, I mean, huge. I mean, my page is 130, I think, <laughs> total. So, I mean, a long way to go, but those guys out there, uh, you know, DVR and Greg and Clinton, and Cousin Josh and, and the Retro Champ, probably forgetting somebody or pro I mean there's a hundred guys out there that are awesome but they uh, recently got their new game from flashback in the mail and their review and let's play will be coming out very soon I know the first one was awesome Mario and the Yoshi Island mystery uh, I wish all those guys the best let me know if you ever need anything you guys are a plus in my book I man I really really wish I could have made it to to retro count uh, that would have been or not RetroCon, Super BitCon. That would have been a dream come true. I, mean, I know I went to Midwest Gaming Classic out here, but the more the merrier, I guess. <laughs> All right, do our squat thrusts. I mean, does anybody think that's a mushroom? Should we find out? say about this game most of the the fan maids are pretty pretty tough I mean this one's not easy by any means but it's it's not on the make you want to kill yourself kind of kind of run thing there what's going on here But I can definitely tell you, when you get to, you know, third, fourth world, it does, it does take a little bit of a spike in, uh, difficulty. And also, guys, uh, this, he doesn't really know it yet completely, but, uh, my buddy Chuck from, uh, the Twitch channel, One Chuck Attacks, I don't know if you guys follow him or if you're into Twitch or anything like that, but he recently played through, uh, Metroid Warts Invasion from me. Uh, we've, we've been kind of just trying to get the games out there and get a different players' perspective on everything. And uh, we're I'm actually going to send him this one when I'm done with it, which will probably be within a couple weeks here. And here's the second one. Mushroom Plains 1. We won't go too much farther with that. I don't want to spoil a good thing for you guys. <clears throat> so, in closing, check us out everywhere. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, uh, I mean really anything, Daddy Peanut 3 d I'm everywhere. Uh, check out Flashback, shopflashback.com, Flashback Entertainment on Facebook, uh, you can find them through me, Gamer Geek Nation on GamerGeekNation.com, check out their new retrocast that just came out a couple days ago, uh, you can hear me on there, I can uh, kind of explain Ancient Stone Tablets if you're interested in that. Uh, they are also on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash GamerGeekNation. 
TVR, Jason, Craig, all you guys. Love you guys. On that note, I'm out. Later. See you next week.